Good evening. Tonight, we bring you a story that's making headlines across the globe and could change the way we think about air travel forever. Tonight, we're tracking a story that could reshape global aviation. The world of flight is on the verge of a major transformation and all eyes are on the east. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have ruled the skies, setting the standard for commercial aviation and dominating international markets. Now, China's Comac C929 has completed a groundbreaking 12,000-kilometer non-stop test flight, a feat that has captured the attention of industry experts worldwide. This isn't just a technical feat. It's a bold statement from China, signaling its intent to become a leader in high-tech manufacturing and aviation. The nation is investing heavily in research, innovation and infrastructure to support this vision. The C929's journey from Shanghai to the equivalent of New York has sent shockwaves through the industry and beyond, raising questions about the future of competition in the skies. China is no longer content to assemble electronics. It's now building the machines that connect the world. This marks a new chapter in global manufacturing and trade. The C929 is more than an aircraft. It's a symbol of national ambition and a challenge to the West's technological dominance. It represents a new era of competition and innovation. Are we witnessing the dawn of a new ABC era, Airbus, Boeing and Comac? The aviation world may never be the same. Let's dive in. To truly grasp the significance of the CN29, we need to look back at China's turbulent and ambitious aviation past. A story marked by setbacks, determination, and relentless innovation. The dream of building a world-class airliner began in the 1970s with the Shanghai Y-10, a bold project that ultimately ended in failure. Yet this setback taught China hard lessons about the complexities of modern aviation and the challenges of competing on a global stage. For decades, China contributed to the global aviation industry by building parts for giants like Boeing and Airbus, learning the intricacies of aircraft manufacturing from the inside and steadily building its own expertise. Ambitious attempts like the Gen MA60 and ARJ21 regional jets followed, but these projects saw only limited success. They were hampered by persistent safety issues, technical hurdles, and the crucial lack of Western certification, which restricted their global reach. The real turning point came in 2008, with the founding of Comec, a state-backed company tasked with building jets that could finally rival the best from the West and put China on the map as a true aviation power. The ARJ-21 and C919 marked real progress for China's aviation industry. But both aircraft still relied heavily on Western-made engines and avionics, highlighting a lingering dependence on foreign technology. This dependence on imported components was China's Achilles heel, an obstacle that limited its ambitions and left it vulnerable to export restrictions and shifting geopolitics. The C929 is designed to break that cycle, representing a bold leap toward true technological independence and a new era for Chinese aviation. This latest flight is the culmination of decades of persistence, ambition, and a national drive to master the skies on China's own terms. Today, China's aviation story is no longer just about catching up. It's about leading, innovating, and shaping the future of flight. The C929 story is one of shifting alliances and bold independence. Originally a joint venture with Russia, the CR929 aimed to merge Chinese resources with Russian expertise. But after Russia's invasion of Ukraine and ensuing sanctions, the partnership collapsed. China faced a choice, abandon the project or go it alone. Against the odds, Comac pressed forward transforming the CR929 into the old Chinese C929. This solo effort demanded massive investment and rapid development of homegrown technology. The successful test flight is a testament to China's determination to chart its own course in aviation. Let's look at the flight that's making headlines. Before dawn, the C929 prototype took off from Shanghai, 
flying a non-stop 12,000 kilometer route, matching the range of Boeing's 787 and Airbus's A350. Onboard elite test pilots and engineers, monitoring every system for over 14 hours. The mission pushed the aircraft to its limits, testing endurance, fuel efficiency, and reliability. Comac declared the flight a flawless success, meeting all key benchmarks. Chief designer Zhao Chunling called it a golden time for China's aviation industry. This flight is a major milestone in the C929 certification process and a validation of China's solo approach. The data gathered will shape the next steps, production, certification, and global competition. For Comac, this was more than a test. It was a declaration of intent. What sets the C929 apart? It's a wide-body twin IL jet seating up to 320 passengers, directly challenging the 787 and A350. Over half its structure is advanced composites, boosting range and efficiency. The design focuses on aerodynamic efficiency, smart cabin features, and advanced flight systems. The cabin boasts customizable lighting, large dimmable windows, and improved passenger comfort. Crucially, the C929's test flight used a domestically developed engine, a leap towards supply chain independence. The cockpit's fly-by-wire system and homegrown avionics reflect China's push for self-sufficiency. The C929 isn't just a plane, it's a symbol of China's technological ambitions. The C929's success is a direct challenge to the long-standing Boeing Airbus duopoly that has dominated the skies for decades. For years, these two Western giants have controlled the global market for large commercial aircraft, shaping not just aviation, but also international trade and technology standards. Now, China's aviation market is booming at an unprecedented rate, and even a partial shift to homegrown jets like the C929 could redirect billions of dollars into its own economy, fueling further growth and self-reliance. The C929 is specifically designed for long-haul international routes, directly threatening the core business of its Western rivals by offering airlines a new competitive alternative for intercontinental travel. Beyond just aircraft sales, the C929 program will drive innovation across China's high-tech industries, from advanced materials to avionics, and inspire a new generation of engineers and scientists. The C929 is also a powerful export tool, especially for countries aligned with China's Belt and Road Initiative, opening doors for deeper economic and diplomatic ties. This ambitious project is central to China's Made in China 2025 strategy, signaling a shift from being the world's factory to becoming a true global innovator in advanced technology. The geopolitical stakes are high, by producing its own jets, China reduces its reliance on the West, gaining more control over its own destiny and supply chains. By offering the C929 abroad, China is forging new alliances, expanding its influence, and gradually shifting the global balance of power in aviation. The ABC era isn't just about building planes, it's about shaping the future of global influence, connectivity, and competition in the skies. Despite the triumph, major hurdles remain, the biggest international certification. Without FAA or AASA approval, the C929's market is limited. Politics could complicate this process, as seen with the C919. The C929 still relies on some Western components, creating supply chain vulnerabilities. The US and allies could restrict access to key parts, so China is racing to localize production. Building a global support network is another challenge. Boeing and Airbus have decades of trust and infrastructure. Airlines want proven safety, reliability, and service. Comac must show it can match or exceed these standards. The test flight is a start, but global trust will take years to earn. The world's reaction to the C929's flight is mixed. Chinese media hails a national triumph, while Western experts remain cautious. Analysts say the C929 is a technical feat, but breaking the duopoly will take time, especially with certification and global trust. Boeing and Airbus publicly welcome competition, but privately, 
they're watching closely. Airlines see more competition as good for prices, but will wait for proven safety and reliability before buying. In belt and road countries, enthusiasm is high. Many see the C929 as a real alternative to Western jets. Comac's best chance is to build a track record in Asia, Africa and Latin America before targeting Western carriers. The C929's future depends on scaling production and proving itself in service. The next decade will be critical for Comac's global ambitions. The C929's 12,000-kilometer flight marks a turning point in aviation. China's journey from failed projects to a world-class wide-body jet is a story of persistence and ambition. The next steps, more testing, certification battles, and scaling up production. The duopoly is under threat. Boeing and Airbus must adapt to a new competitor with a vast home market. For travelers, this could mean more choices and lower fares, but also new questions about safety and standards. The C929 shows how fast the global tech landscape can shift. We'll keep following this story as it unfolds. What do you think? Can China truly challenge the giants of the sky? Join the conversation with the C929 future.